In the 1960s, Mikhail Gertzenstein showed that electromagnetic and gravitational waves in a strong magnetic field can couple together. This is more promising than looking for interactions between gravitons and, say, electrons. EM and gravitational waves, which both travel at the speed of light, can experience wave resonance that allows energy to transfer between them at a much lower coupling strength than is needed for the absorption of a graviton by matter. This means a photon may be transformed into a graviton and vice versa. So if we shoot a graviton through a magnetic field, it will oscillate between graviton states and photon states. This is called the Gertzenstein effect. Now, to do this, we need a long hollow tube threaded by a strong magnetic field pointed towards a source of gravitons. The hope is that some of those gravitons will turn into photons that we can detect. And as you may have guessed, the universe again conspires against us. The magnetic field needs to be quite strong for the Gertzenstein effect to work. How strong? Well, strong enough that we have spontaneous creation of matter-antimatter pairs inside the tube. The vacuum polarization resulting from this limits the coherence of EM waves in the tube, preventing resonance with gravitational waves and shutting down the Gertzenstein effect.